To begin, feeding, pull up the amount of the formula needed and make sure to get rid of all the air bubbles and push the air out of the end of the tube before you start hand feeding. Next, retain the cotton tail with its left side facing down and right side facing you. Have your dominant hand free of the cotton tail to push the tube down. First, you'll need to measure the tube by feeling for the bottom of the cotton tail's ribcage and follow the tube to its mouth, make a mark, or remember where the tube is at. With 5.0 cc silicone tubes, there are numbers on the tubes. Now, you're going to want to lubricate the end of the tube for less resistance while inserting the tube into the cotton tail's esophagus. When you start, you want to go to the cotton tail's left side to enter the esophagus and not the trachea. Gently start pushing the tube down till your mark. I like to put my fingers close to its mouth to ensure complete control. You may feel resistance at first from the cotton tail biting down on the tube. If the tube will not go all the way down to your mark and you feel heavy resistance, you may have entered the lungs. Pinch the tube and slowly pull the tube out and refer to the primary rehabber. Now, let's take a closer look into the cotton tail's esophagus and trachea. As you can see by the placement of the tube into the esophagus, the positions of the trachea and esophagus are very close in relation. So if you aim to the left side of the cotton tail's throat, you will be more likely to enter the esophagus and continue into the stomach rather than the trachea and enter the lungs, causing aspiration if you administer the formula. Once you have got to the mark on the tube, begin by putting 0.1 cc down the tube and wait a little bit to make sure no formula comes out of their nose. If no formula comes up, slowly feed the bunny the amount it should be getting for the feeding. Pinch the tube at the end and slowly pull out. Now stimulate the cotton tail to urinate after each feeding. Do not hold the cotton tails directly on their backs, but instead in a vertically or slightly on their side position. Use a wetted tissue and tickle the genitals gently at a very rapid pace. There should be a steady flow rate since the young cottontails are only being stimulated twice a day with the feedings. When you are finished, place the cottontail into its enclosure. Cottontails are high stress animals, especially in captivity, so make sure you keep the room they are in fairly quiet, minimizing handling until the next feeding.